since we're talking about birds this month, um, we do have Brisbane here. Now I never thought that I would ever like birds. When I first had experience taking care of birds, I was actually intimidated. The first bird I ever took care of was a macaw. Her name was Kylie. She was a gorgeous military macaw, but just like any other macaw species, they have a big beak and the ability to break your finger off. So I was pretty terrified. But after that experience with her, I grew to love birds, not only working with emus, taracos, different storks, and of course, other parrots as well. What's important in our ecosystem about birds? So birds are really important in pretty much every ecosystem on the planet. One of their main jobs is actually seed dispersers. So especially in the rainforest, macaws are known for dispersing seeds throughout the forest. And even emus, they're gonna eat things off the ground. They're gonna eat berries off of trees. And then obviously it's gonna come out the other end and they're gonna disperse it in their environment. So they are important seed dispersers in their environment. What is Brisbane's favorite treat? One of Brisbane's favorite treats is actually blueberries. So I have some here for him today. We'll see if he wants some. If he'll wake up for a blueberry, what do you think? Yes? Good boy. Does it hurt when he takes that off your hand? He's actually pretty gentle. And I think it's because ever since I've been here, I cuddle him and we understand our behavior and um, our relationship has grown. So he is pretty gentle. His girlfriend on the other hand, she's a little bit more aggressive. Okay. Do you have any animals that can do tricks? So our animals don't necessarily do tricks for fun. A lot of the behaviors that we train are for the animal's health. So our raccoons, for instance, are trained to let us assess their body. So they'll give us their hands. So if I ask Rocket, one of our raccoons, to give me his hands, he'll put his hands in my hands so that I can see him. I'll hold on to them. And we're working on a nail trim for him as well. What about the birds? So for our birds, we are actually working on different weighing and scaling behaviors so that we can accurately determine their weights. Um, some of our birds are also learning how to do targeting behaviors. How do wildlife parks help with animal conservation? So that's a great question. So a lot of wildlife parks, honestly, they help in conservation through education. So that's one of the main things that we do here because not only is Brisbane an excellent animal ambassador for his species, he gets to show everybody how important and how awesome emus are. That's what all of our animals here are for. So all of our animals in one way or another are helping for each of their species conservation in that way because they are great animal ambassadors and they're teaching everybody that we need all of our species on our planet. What's the funniest thing an animal has ever done? To me, or that I've seen? That you've seen. Both, all the above? Yeah. The funniest thing that I've actually seen from one of our animals was actually Brisbane. Emus, just like every other animal, they get the zoomies. When emus get the zoomies, they look like a feather duster running. And they raise up so that their neck is as tall as you, and it's one of the funniest things ever. What's the biggest animal you've ever cared for? The biggest animal I've ever gotten to care for was actually at America's Teaching Zoo at Moore Park where I first started out learning how to take care of animals. And she was a big lioness named Kiara. She was one of my very favorites. Thank you guys for joining in for us this month's Creep Keeper Corner with me and Brisbane. Feel free to stop on by and see Brisbane and any of our other birds here at the park. Um, Brisbane always likes to say hi and get cuddles. <laughs>